There was the question about the DGI in Spire 1. If you can see the FPV picture on the screen of the tablet and on an external device. Yes, that's no problem. At the remote control, you have the HDMI jack here. So there you put in a MIDI HDMI cable. Go with the cable to an external device like this. It's my flight monitor for the other copter and put it in here and then you have on the external device also the FPV picture from the Inspire one. So you can see it on both on the device and on the external monitor. You can also use the size cinemizer as an FPV glass um, if you want to use this. And you can change in the DJI app if you want to see the on-screen, like now, the on-screen data, so you can see the flight speed, height, and so on of the Inspire One, or you can turn it off. So if you want to show the picture on a big screen, um, or you want to show it to a customer and um, want to spoil the picture with the on-screen data, you can switch this on and off. In the app, I show you where you do this, so you can change the on-screen data display to on and off. Here we are. You just go to the HD transmission point and then here we have the switch, the second one, where you can change between on-screen data on or on-screen data off. And the point, it's a little bit difficult, and the point above, dual output means that you can turn off the output of the device here. So if you turn on off here at this point, you will recognize that the picture disappeared, disappears here on the tablet or on the uh, smart device which you're using. Um, on the external monitor, you will see the FPV picture again, or the, all the time. And now we can turn it on again and you have the FPV picture also on the tablet. So yes, it's possible to put the FPV picture on the smart device um, directly at the remote control and you can see the FPV picture on an external monitor which is connected over the HDMI connector of the remote control.